the art of walking alone that is the title for this podcast the art of walking alone now when we study all religions in the earth we discover that every single one of these religions whether it's Islam, Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism, hell, do we even have a greenism? Whichever religion you belong to, every single one of these talk about some some form or some sort of salvation. And so salvation from what? Because everybody wants to be saved. But what do you want to be saved from? That is the question. Because throughout your soul journey into the earth, as a cosmic being who stayed in the womb of our earthly mothers for nine months whilst nature prepared a body, a physical body that is, for us. We waited patiently. And just before we came out, nature had already prepared food for us because our mother's breasts were filled with milk. And as we come into this world, again, nature had prepared food for us. All the vegetation plants for our healing. So in other words, if you wanted something to eat, think about a mango tree. When it's ripe, you'll be walking by or sat underneath this tree and all of a sudden, you hear something drop and you can reach out to it, grab it free of charge and feed yourself with it. And so nature or the divine mind who is the architect of all of this and if you don't believe in a creator just study the anatomy of human beings. And you see how perfection really is. Indeed, it is a supreme mind. And so everything was prepared for us before we got here. We were not meant to lack anything. Therefore, the ancients created paradise on earth. Because everything we needed was already here. And so they remain connected to the universe through mind until evil crept in. And let me give you an example. Years ago, I was watching a documentary. And in this documentary, there was a group of monkeys in a village. I think it was India somewhere. Or Mexico, I can't remember. But these group of monkeys was sit nearby the city. It was like a village type of thing. And whenever the people give these, people, these monkeys food... They will gather around the foot and one of them will climb a tree and be the lookout man. So in case there's any predator coming, this one on the tree will make a loud noise so everybody will scatter. But there was this one particular monkey who had developed this secret weapon. So whenever he went up the tree and his brethren had gathered around their meals about to eat, he will sound this alarm and they will all scatter so he can descend down and eat all the food by himself. 
And as I watched this documentary, I couldn't believe how that monkey developed that mind. And this is pretty much what's happened to us. Something went wrong with somebody. And that ego spread like wildfire. Just as that one monkey did. And so now we are talking about the art of walking alone. Because all the impressions that we have received in this world, since our birth into this world, there come a time when one must decide they want to discover more and more of themselves. Their true nature Because we have learned a lot from different, different people. From our education system, friends, families, you name it. And so, when you are told, be still and know that I am God. It is about getting rid of, we're not saying don't speak to anybody for the rest of your life. But you must spend some time alone. Just as when you lose something, you tend to stand alone to see if you can remember where you left it or sit down for a while. Because it is in silence. We tap into our highest mind. Prayer is wonderful. But the highest form of prayer is also meditation. And so when you study how we go here and what has been prepared for us, you also know that you were not here to get rich. Our purpose was to create heaven on earth. But the ego has created divisions. And so one must find a space for themselves to go within so one can tap into a universal mind, tap into the minds of our divine mother and father. Otherwise, all we do is we die. And this de demonic mind that we have developed, which the, in Buddhism they call the Bados, torments the soul for a time. Before you are given another body. And it goes on and on and on. And so they say, leave the fool to persist in his folly. And one day he too become wise. Although, in the book of Hebrews, they said, it is appointed unto man to die once. Hebrews chapter 9, 27. It is only talking about physically. Physically. Otherwise, John chapter 9 and 2 wouldn't have talked about the blind man. Whom they said the disciples asked Jesus, who sinned that this man was born blind? Did his parents sin or did he sin that he was born blind? Now, if you have never been here before, how can you sin? and be born blind in another life. And so, the art of reincarnation or rebirth 
has always been there, which is a fair system. And so anyone who has any funny idea about going to a place called heaven just because they, they name the name of Jesus must rethink their thoughts because they will be in for a rude surprise. Salvation is for you to work on yourself. The universe has already given us free will. Nobody's crying because we are not saved. The Creator is definitely not screaming. It is whether or not we want freedom. And so I'm going to leave this podcast. And as for the October, I did say I was going to come to Ghana which I don't think is going to happen now because the purpose I was coming to Ghana for has now been postponed. And so perhaps you may never see me again physically, but as cosmic beings, we are all connected. So one must take the knowledge you have acquired and apply them to yourselves. And think about it. If everything is an illusion, then I don't even exist. The only thing that exists is our highest self, which we must all seek to discover before the body falls we are lucky to have this knowledge because many people have lived and died without ever realizing our truth and so we have an opportunity so when the angel of death comes there's no fear in our hearts and so with this said you take care of yourselves and perhaps we shall catch up again in the future peace